Hello. Just to say recently I was looking to do some video editing on some quick time images and video recorded by my camera only to find the Microsoft product doesn't do that the video editing software that comes with Microsoft. So I came across this one called AVS and I believe it's very very good. I'm just going to explain some of its features see when you open the screen and I'm just going to import some videos and some images. So I go to the file where they're located, I select the ones that I want, and again if you want to select individual ones, if you hold the control key down you can select the images and video you wish to import. And then say OK and in they come. Once they're in you can select either video or images and sound if you've got it in there and this works very much the same way as most editing software you just drag and drop into the area at the bottom there so just drag and drop so I'm going to drag uh, some video and some images in there to make a variety of scenes as you can see it's plain just drag and drop change the duration of the clips you can select the scene and you can go here and you can see you start to play it and you've got these little tabs here to show where you'd like to start the scene and where you'd like to finish the scene and that is editing the clip another way to do it is select the scene and you can change the duration as shown here and I'm just going to say for this demo put it for 10 seconds another way to do it is if you're going to trim the scene as shown here I select trim and at the bottom screen there again you can change the duration and I'm going to change it for say for 10 seconds on this example. Now I'm going to add some text to the video and you select the text, there's a variety of text that you can actually bring in and again it's too many to go through here but I'm going to pick a, a simple text there you can see it now shown on the video and to edit the text you select edit text and to change the text, it's text itself you click the right hand mouse button and edit the text as shown. If you would like to change the size of the font then you just click select objects and change the font size, the type of font and you can change the color whether it has shadow as well. So as you can see there's quite a bit you can do on the text. Now here's an interesting area, transitions. Uh, there's such a variety of transitions between the videos. It's an excellent range here. I'm just going to drag a few in here just to show how it's done. You just drag the, the transitions between the different video clips or images that you have on your project and away we go. And I'll quickly run that through so you can see what it looks like. This isn't a very good representation because of the way it was recorded but some excellent effects when it comes to tran transitions with this particular product. Here's an interesting feature where you can actually embed a video in a video into an image. I'm just doing a simple one here. So I've already got my product set up there. I'm just dragging in another video beneath it. As you can see, the, the video image is actually inside the other image. You can edit that overlay and you can change its size. You can move it around, you can relocate it, which is excellent. You know, you could have somebody there actually narrating, like myself if I was brave enough to show my face narrating this particular video through that way. And you can do voiceover, so you just select the audio and the voice recorder and away we go so you can just start playing the video and just start talking to the microphone very much like I'm doing here is very effective. One thing we must always do is save our project. Say select from file, 
save project as and save your project and you can do this for all your projects so again very important that you save if you're looking to upload your video into say YouTube there's a facility for that you can press the save movie in this particular case I'm going to save it to the web and I just select next and I'm going to change it is QuickTime have a location where you're going to save it and it just starts to upload give it a title as shown here and then start uploading or creating the the project once it's done this you do have the opportunity to upload it into YouTube but I haven't done in this particular case I've just saved it to a file date hello I hope you enjoyed the video just to say there's some more examples of videos on my YouTube channel and you can see some other varieties of editing that I have done there. I'm also involved in a, an educational system that teaches people how to use the social media, things like YouTube, to help market yourself, services and products. And if you wish to know more about this, then by all means visit me at my blog.